Welcome to Whale.com. When our partners at Quantum Machinery Group heard we were moving into a new, bigger space, they were really excited for us. Now, Quantum is the leading metal fabrication machinery distributor, so you know they have all the goodies. Now, they started asking about our welding tables, so we told them what we had. And when they saw them, they said, that's not a table. Now, that's a table. This is the Sigmund System 28 Imperial Series 5x10 Professional Extreme Welding Clamping Table. And we'll be going through all the functions and features today here at Weld.com. So I'm gonna go through a few steps that we used to do when I first started in this trade. You know, you take your measuring tape, of course, and measure something out, put you a mark on the table. And you know, realistically, you have like 10 or 15 of these to build whatever you're building. So you take angle iron, tack it down, plate, tack it down, and then put your piece in there and use it for a jig. Beat it around, level it, of course, square it. You know, with the new technology today, we don't need all this stuff. We have it right there in the table with the accessories that comes with it. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. So we'll get started on the goodies cart, which I call it the goodies cart because all the accessories that are in this box go on accessory cart. So what I'll do is I'll open it up and we'll see what they sent us. All right, look what we got here. So what we'll do is we'll put the casters on it first. You know what? Work smarter, not harder. Slick little nice rider, like a skateboard. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start out with the 360 clamps. So you can use this clamp at any angle. That's why they call it a 360 clamp. So we'll go ahead and put it on the goody, the goody card, I'm gonna call it. So they sent us four 360 rotating clamps, which is good. Now I'll move on just to regular clamps. And they're nice and adjustable. They go up and down, in and out. So I'll proceed to put the rest of them on the goody cart. These are the stops that mount to the table. And of, and of course, I'll demonstrate what they do when we go to the table and put the beam and the material up there. So next what I'll do is I'll, I'll put these squares on there and there's four of these squares and there's seven inch squares, seven by sevens. I already had your measurements on it. So next what we have is two 12 by eight squares. They keep getting bigger as we go. So the bigger projects, the better off these squares will work. Look how big and heavy duty this thing is. You know, you can use this thing for enormous beams. That'll keep it level up and down, especially sitting on the table, clamping it and welding it. Then it comes with the 90 to 120 degree prisms. So these are really nice because they sit down in, in the bore holes and you can set pipe on it. Or if you need a degree that this degree sits at, it'd be really nice. So this is gonna be fun with all these nice accessories. Let's put them on the table, see how they work. So I really like these furred polyfan curves because as you can see, it's, it's got the abrasive all the way around the curve and it works really well in the material like a web of, a, of an I-beam. And it works really well when, you, when you're working on defects. If you have defects in a weld or something, it really works well. So just don't take my word for it. Why don't you check them out for yourself? So I showed you the old school way on just an old flat, surface steel table, the tacking, the layout, making a jig, you know, it takes time, it takes effort, you know, so all these man hours that we're using, doing the old school way, I wanna show you the new school way and how easy it is to get set up on a Sigmund table. And let me just get started. 
So as you'll see, using this table in conjunction with all these accessories makes setup really quick. Being able to plug in the stops and squares with greater precision helps ensure repeatability and should cut down on any kind of welding distortion. Also, changes can be made on the fly to keep you and your project on schedule every time. So these are the bolts that slide into the table that hold the stops and the squares in place. So as you can see how easy the setup is and the pins fall right in place. But on some of the stops, when it's hole to hole, you only need one pin because it'll hold it exactly where you need it. But I was using the slot, so I wanted to make sure that it didn't move anywhere. So I, I put one in the hole and put one in the slot to make sure that it stayed exactly where I wanted it to stay. So I'm just gonna use one tool just to square it, to make sure it's squared, which I'm sure it is. This table is very accurate and very precision. Look at that. It don't get any better than that. So everybody out there, everybody wants to see how you set up the machine. It's very simple with this Lincoln 260 power MIG. So you select your process and we're gonna use the MIG process. You just push the button. So then we're using steel. Run an 035 wire, 7525, and we are welding 5 sixteenths thick. So positive clarity. And you know what? I don't like these preset settings, so I'm gonna go back to the MIG part and manual set it myself because I know what runs good because I've done it before. I'm gonna go with 18 and a half. And 200 inches per minute. So we're going to run 7525 with Super Arc L56 ER70S6 wire, 035 diameter with AWS spec of 5.17. So let's get welding it out. As you can see, these clamps are really handy. Very easy to install, and I wanted to put them down just to make sure I don't get any distortion. So as you can see, the clamping system works very well to disassemble it so I can stand it straight up and get to the part I couldn't weld laying on the table. I really like this clamping system they have because if you have to build a hundred of these, look how simple it is to do it. I mean, it's very fast, easy. The bolts slide in and out, the stops work. Everything works very good. It's very precision. So I'll get this thing stood up and finish, finish welding it. So you can see how easy it was to reposition everything with the clamping system. So you stand it straight up so you get to the part that you can't weld underneath it. So let's proceed. So that's what I like about these third products. They work really well and it makes them nice and shiny. I'm gonna double check it, but I already know it's square because this precision table does precision work. Right on the money, just like I thought. I had a lot of fun today. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us at well.com backslash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the well.com community. See you on the next one.